Are you a single mom and wonder if you can handle driving an RV? Well, on this week's show, we join Allison Hayes and her daughter Emery as they experience their very first RV vacation. Then, do you know how old your tires are? Jeff Johnston shows us how to read tire code and tell how old your vehicle or trailer tires actually are. And later, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education show us some cool trailer toy accessories. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Let's catch up with Allison and Emery at the Thor Motor Coach Factory as they learn all about the new Gemini Class A motorhome they'll be using on their RV vacation. RVing is for everyone, including single parents and their families. Whether you're a seasoned RVer or a first-timer, people of all sorts can jump in and enjoy the RV experience. Regular viewers may recall Allison Hayes as our co-host for our RV of the Year show. She had never camped or traveled in an RV, so we thought it would be fun to set up a first-timer's RV road trip for Allison and her daughter, Emery, to see how they handle the new experience. We caught up with Allison and Emery at the Wakarusa, Indiana Thor Motor Coach headquarters. Technician Steve Duvall gave them a detailed walk around to bring them up to speed on the Gemini Coach operation and all of its mechanical systems. Yeah, of course it is. She's been talking about this trip for about six months, so yeah, and when I told her, I'm like, you know what, we not only have one TV, but we have two. <gasps> Isn't that cool? So we can sit our chairs right out here and watch it. <laughs> Mommy can swivel it for you, so wherever you're sitting, and there's an old DVD player in there too, so oh, how cool is that? Oh shoot, That's, we were going to bring DVDs, darn it. Uh, a couple of chairs, all right. Cool okay, uh, storage back here. Uh, there's a couple pieces of wood for leveling. Uh, this doesn't have uh, leveling jacks, but you, ooh, this is where you hook your sewer hose. I'll walk you through this in a little bit, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Here, if you are playing and you get all dirty, Emery, you can <gasps> wash your feet right there. Oh, and that's awesome. Hot water, how about that? All right, so you, you won't get uh, crazy cold feet. I could probably already use that on her feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, RVs are fairly complex, and the orientation walk around presents a variety of new technologies and details. It's a lot for the first timer to remember. Let's send give us in here. I'll give you the keys now. How about that? All right. All right. You just kind of put this in, plug this in, twist in. See how they're, like oh, that's got yep. the little groove on there. Okay. You line that up, twist it and lock it. And then this little thumb that screw, twists. right, that way if, it, it just keeps it in place so there's okay. no accidental trips. Say they only offer like a 110, which I doubt they will. It's on an adapter? Yeah, it's just an adapter and then you can plug it into a regular outlet okay if that's all they offer it wouldn't be your best option because you could run like three lights okay press it up where it says right there where it says out just hold that down all right awesome. and that will now keep you dry right oh and right. here comes the rain good timing on Perfect your part timing. Emery. wow <laughs> over here on your control panel this is uh your generator start remember we were talking about the tanks and yes. they be three quarter full this is how you check them all right so your refrigerator just got a little freezer in oh here as gosh. well. Okay. Oh, we uh, can even make ice. Yeah, a little ice cube There's tray in there for you. All right, and then mom might have to you lift up here. Okay, can lift up here, and then you fold down like that, and you can put your cushions back in place. You want to get that one? Start her up. Yep. All right. See, there's there's your rear view camera oh, right up cool. in there, and it's nice and big, so a nice clear vision of what's behind we can you. See behind us. Uh, and you know, this isn't typical, just like a car, radio, whatever. Is that? Um, have yep. You got it. The next step is figuring out where to pack all of your hardware. Fortunately, the Gemini had more than enough room for their clothing and camping supplies. We can 
Get it to fit in, I guess. There is a place for everything yes, in here. Yes, there is. There most certainly is. So we just put all of our bedding in there. Yeah. You might want your pillow, sweetie, for up next. Sleeping bag. It's gonna be so nice. Now for the open road. Next stop, the grocery store. There's no mistake, it takes some adjustment to go from packing your home kitchen to packing an RV kitchen. The smaller refrigerator and sometimes compact storage spots can be a snug fit, but they normally work fine for short-term RV use. Allison took to driving the Thor Gemini Class B like a pro. Once you get a feel for the controls and the rig's body size, the journey is fun and relaxing. Hey baby, want to make sure that you get your seatbelt on when you're back there too, okay? Okay. Actually it turns quite a bit easier than I would have thought it would, would do. Felt like I was, was kind of nervous Emery that it was going to be really big and hard to turn, but it handles really well. The journey to the campground took them six hours north to Mackinac City, Michigan, and other than some typically wonky directions from a cell phone GPS mapping software, they made it in one piece. Hi, First stop is check-in, and the campground has that down pat, so it's the easy part. Oh, perfect. Oh, there is, there's Wi-Fi? Okay, you want to tell me any rules or anything? Just so I can We'll be right back with more of Allison and Emery's first time RV adventure, so stay tuned. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause. Ramble out into the world and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. You like TVs? Yeah. Guess what? You can watch a TV on the outside. Welcome back to yeah, Rolling on TV. We continue our story about Allison and Emery's first time RV adventure in the Thor Gemini Class C motorhome. I'm gonna get this plugged in. Get, the, get us some water. Their campsite had electric but no water, so a pause at the freshwater fill station was up next. A smaller rig makes the backing in job a lot easier, but it still takes a couple of tries to get it right. <laughs> Allison's Canadian friends arrived and joined her and Emery for the weekend fun. A near-dark project included adding leveling blocks, with a little help from her friend. The shore power cord connector often seems to give people difficulty. Another stuff in there. We just need this black cord right now. This will be our electricity. This goes in here. I 
no idea if I'm doing this right. I think we got it. Make my way over here. I'm in business. Placing your campsite reservation tag is a small part of your setup. With camp set up, there was enough time to enjoy the sunset view of the Mackinac Bridge framed by a storm in the background. The Gemini Kitchen is great, but sometimes you just need to visit the campground store for that fresh coffee hit. The Mackinac Mill Creek Campground Store is very well equipped with camping necessities and other fun stuff. Part of a campground's value is in what you can do nearby. Allison and Emery opted for a ferry ride to Mackinac Island a major tourist draw just a few miles across the Straits of Mackinac. The ferry trip over included a pass beneath the Mackinac Bridge for an unusual view of this impressive structure. Mackinac Island is a beautiful and unique historic and tourist spot. There are no cars allowed on the island, so every vehicle is horsepowered. It makes for some interesting scenery. Allison and Emery enjoyed a classic Mackinac Island horse-drawn taxi ride. The 1887 vintage Grand Hotel looms large on the island and it evokes images of a classic era of elegant travel and lodging. Back in the campground, there was time for a jump in the pool. Emery, let me see you swim! I want to see you swim! Don't get me all <laughs> All things considered, the first RV trip for Allison and Emery turned out very well. They sailed through the early learning process and had a good time with the Gemini. Adjusting to life in a smaller space was their biggest hurdle and they cleared it with ease. You sure can. What do you call a car that's this big? Yeah. What? Single parents and anyone else can enjoy the RV experience. Give it a try and you won't be disappointed. For more information about anything you've seen on this show, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. Simply put, 
Thetford's AquaChem has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaChem, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaChem, another great product from Thetford. How would you like to be the special guests of Rolling On TV and Jayco at the 2019 RV Business Magazine RV of the Year Award Show? One lucky couple will win an all expense paid trip to Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world, and be our guests at this industry only event. Along with attending the award show, winners will also get a personal tour of the RVMH Hall of Fame Museum and attend the RV Business Magazine annual industry party. The following day, you will visit Jayco's headquarters and production facility for a personal behind the scenes tour. If you're into RVing, this is your chance to be a part of two of the RV industry's biggest fun-filled events. And, by the way, we'll be taping your whole adventure for an upcoming episode of Rolling On TV. To enter, visit our website at rollingontv.com and click on the RV of the Year contest link where you'll find all the contest information. See you in Elkhart. viewer mail covers a subject that's near and dear to most RVers hearts their tires and it goes something like this dear Jeff my favorite RV dealer tells me that even though my tires aren't worn out I need to replace them because they're too old is that right can a tire in good condition be too old to use well, believe it or not yes they're right a tire even if it has tread left on it can be past its useful lifespan there are all kinds of environmental factors that affect tires ozone in the air, ultraviolet light from the sun, and age. Tire rubber simply dries out. And as it dries out, it's more prone to cracking and tread separation and so on, or major carcass failures. And none of these, of course, are a good thing. Now, tire manufacturers generally recommend somewhere between six and eight years as the maximum lifespan for a tire. This, of course, varies according to the manufacturer. So the first thing you need to know to find out where you stand on your tires, so to speak, is how old they are. Now there's all kinds of useful data molded into the tire sidewall. What you want to look for is the information that starts out with a DOT followed by a string of letters and numbers. Once you locate the DOT numbers on the side of the tire, you can get all kinds of information from them. Most important for us, of course, is the date. The first two letters, AP, indicate that this tire was made in Ardmore, Oklahoma. You can find a link to a complete list of manufacturing sites on our website at rollingontv.com. And the last four digits here, 3604, indicate this tire was built in the 36th week of 2004, which means since this is 2013, this tire is really close to its projected lifespan. Okay, now you know your tire's age. The next thing you need to do is an inspection. And it may look great at arm's length like these do, but you need to get up close and personal to learn the rest of the story. With a close look at the tire carcass, you start to see all kinds of little cracks and crevices here in the sidewall, cracks across the lugs and so forth, back up here between the lugs and even down on the sidewall. This is good indicators that there's something starting to go on with your tread rubber beyond just wearing out. For example, one of the things you can see is this particular crack right here that runs all the way along. And that's kind of right where the, the cap rubber meets the sidewall rubber. That could indicate separation starting to happen. Well, we hope this has been useful to maybe help you learn a little bit more about your tires and make a little bit better judgment as far as when you have to replace them is concerned. Knowing how to read your tire's age is useful in another way as well. For example, if you go shopping for tires and you visit a tire dealer's showroom, you can look at the sidewall and the new tires and figure out exactly how old they are. That's very useful information because it means you don't have to necessarily buy tires that have been sitting in a warehouse someplace for a year or more. You probably wouldn't want to do that. Thanks for watching. Need some new replacement rubber trim and seals for your RV? 
Now celebrating their 60th anniversary, Steel Rubber Products has been the leading choice for discerning hot rod and classic car owners for all their rubber parts needs. And now, Steel Rubber Products is offering the same high quality parts and service to RV owners everywhere. For more information on Steel Rubber Products and to get a free RV catalog, visit rv.steelrubber.com. When you have a Truma AquaGo instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. Today's topic is titled Trailer Towing Tips and Tricks and I'll be demonstrating on our Ram Truck and Keystone RV Project Trailer. Let's get right to it. Let's start with how to avoid a painful accident waiting to happen. If you have been towing trailers for a while, you have probably banged your shin into the hitch more than once. With this Fastway Shin Guard safety cover, those days are over. It fits 2 inch and 2 and 5 16 inch hitch balls on ball mounts up to 2 and a half inches wide. Simply slide the shin guard down over the top of the ball, stretch it around the nut, and you're done. No more sore shins. Another great feature is this wiring harness tether. It stays attached to the harness wire with the flat end, and when you tow the trailer, you just pull the loose end through the loop on the side of the shin guard. Available in black, orange, and yellow colors. Next, we have the Fastway Tethered Ball Cover. It's a good idea to keep the hitch ball lubed with some grease, but it sure can get messy. This hitch ball cover solves the problem of getting grease everywhere, and there is this convenient tether to keep the cover in place when you are towing. The ball cover is available for 2 inch and 2 and 5 16 inch hitch balls. Another handy Fastway trailer product is this chain up safety chain sling. If you tow trailers, you probably experience noisy and dragging safety chains. The Fastway chain up solves that problem for good. Just slip the chain up over your hitch ball, thread the chains through so they can hang evenly, and couple the trailer. It's that easy. When you're finished towing, pull the chain up off the ball and lay it over the coupler to keep the safety chains out of the dirt and mud until it's time to tow again. Last but not least is this Fastway 7-pin plug cover. This is a quick and easy way to keep dirt, bugs, and corrosion out of your 7-pin wiring harness. And a convenient tether keeps the cover from getting lost so it's there every time you need it. All of these Fastway trailer products serve a useful purpose when it comes to towing a trailer. For more information on these great products, visit www.fastwaytrailer.com. Until next time, happy and safe camping. We hope you enjoyed this week's program, and for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories from current and past shows, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. For more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org.